This is a demonstration of a chloride drop count test kit using endpoint ID procedures. Anytime you are about to handle chemicals, you need to wear the proper safety equipment. Safety glasses and gloves should be worn when performing this test. The first step is to select the proper sample size based on your desired drop equivalency. In this example, we are going to use a 25 ml sample, therefore one drop equals two parts per million chloride. Before collecting your sample, it's important to rinse the vial three times with the sample to be tested. This minimizes the chance of contamination from a previous titration. Hold the vial close to eye level while pouring to ensure you have an accurate sample. Place the vial on a level surface and bend down to eye level to verify you have collected an accurate sample. The slightest change in sample size will lead to inaccurate results. If your sample contains sulfite, Add 10 drops of hydrogen peroxide 3% before proceeding. Swirl the vial to mix. The next step is to add 10 drops of chloride indicator. The bottle contains a dropper tip, so it's important to hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each reagent, swirl the vial to mix. If the sample turns yellow, continue to the next step of adding mercuric chloride titrant. If the sample turns blue-purple, Add chloride adjuster one drop at a time, swirling after each drop until the sample color turns yellow. The next step is to perform the titration using mercuric chloride titrant. Each bottle of titrant is labeled with the equivalency and sample size it was manufactured for. It's important to make sure you have the proper titrant and the proper sample size for this test. Hold the bottle vertically and add the titrant one drop at a time, swirling the vial after each drop. Count the number of drops until the sample color changes from yellow to blue-purple.